What we want to do is really to get into the bottom of the reason that we, one of, one of the reasons that we met here. Uh, the first reason was to, to introduce some of the Israeli uh, vision or ophthalmological research potential and trust me what you, what you heard until now was really sort of the tip of the iceberg, which is big, there's a lot of more research. And the next question is really what we can do in order to combine forces uh, between uh, yeah, American uh, researchers, Israeli researchers, in order to advance research to give sight to the blind. Uh, because there are two other members here from the Israeli community which are leading uh, exciting, innovative research uh, that may prove uh, fruitful for the near future. I would like, I will give, before we we'll open it for discussion and before I'll give you my view, I want to give each one of them, if you allow me, two minutes to present what they are doing and then we'll continue. All right, just to give you the, the breadth of research for Israel. So the first one is uh, Dr. Egal Rottenstein. You have exactly two minutes, I'll stop you. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm in here. I'm sitting here. Yeah, he's in <laughs> okay, my research is focused on clinical, translational, and preclinical uh, studies. Oops. I will uh, briefly tell you about uh, one of my work in New York. We developed a novel objective visual field test using different light stimuli, dif different in colors, light intensities, which uh, specifically can differentiate between rods, cones, and ganglion cells pathology. Um, we are also developing new non-invasive treatments, uh, such as Nancy's beta carotene, uh, and one of the studies was already published, the other one is on review, and um, briefly I show that uh, the result uh, showed significant improvement, more than 50% um, in uh, ERG responses in one third of the patients, of RP patients. And you can see here that it correlated with the, with the visual field as well. Um, not just that, um, we, we also do some um, and some other non-invasive treatment which I won't be able to get into the details and we also do some one of one of the main limitation of cell therapy is that cells are confined cell, cell uh, stem cell uh, injection are confined to small area in the retina however if you can look at the red red light here red line we, we succeeded to, to implant those stem cells into the sub, um, uh, sub retinal space and distributed it in, in a nearly uniform sheet of cells along the entire retina. The retinal function of the cells is also improved and you can see in the box the improvement between 3 to um, 16 weeks compared to the uh, not to the other eye, uh, to the sham, uh, the sham control. This was also correlated with the photoreceptor rescue in histology analysis. This is uh, this is a fruit of my research group and other collaborator, which you can see here. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't be able to tell all about them. <coughs> 